Doctor. Why don't you just go out the same way you came in, all right? Oh, Donald, you know what I feel when I see the pain on your face? Yeah, yeah, I do. I know what you feel like when you see pain on my face. You know, Sierra and Tonio are now married and happily living in Oakdale thanks to you. Oh, come on. It's not the end of the oh, world. Oh, isn't it? You know that in one day, today alone, one day I have run into her at Betsy's, then at the oh. hospital, and then tonight at dinner at Diana's with her husband. It's like a knife sticking in my oh, gut every darling, time I see them again. poor baby. I'm sorry. What's wrong me? Listen, if, if you run away, if you quit your job with me... I already have quit my job. If you do you. all that, what good does that do you? Does, it, does going away lessen your pain? No, running away never does anybody any good. Lucinda, we have had this discussion before. Now, you obviously did not break into my apartment in the middle of the night to repeat yourself. So what is it you want to say? I thought you'd never ask. Darling, I have been sitting here, I have been drinking up the emanations in your apartment, and I've come to a solution just for you. Do you want to hear it, baby? Oh, granite Falls. I've never heard of Granite Falls. What if it's not on the map? It's got to be if that's where he took Franny and Kim. Well, it's sure not going to be in the trouble, is that? You sure you never flew him to Colorado? Never. It's obviously a place they didn't want anybody to know about. Okay, here it is, folks. Right in the middle of nowhere. Oh. Say about... 70 miles from Boulder. Yeah. How long will it take to get there? Well, that would depend on the aircraft. I mean, if this is where Doug built his private airstrip, it's, it's, it's not going to be very big. He, uh, to be on the safe side, you wouldn't want anything larger than a private jet like his. Well, how long will it take? I don't know, what, maybe two and a half, maybe three hours. Yeah, depending on the wind. Barry, will you fly us there? Look, I know I'm asking a lot. We don't know what we're going to find. Mr. Weiss, please. They can be in great danger. Okay, okay, let's do it. I can be ready at 3.30 a.m. Wait, 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 no, that's too long. That's three hours. No, no, you can't wait that long. Enough time for you to get some rest, shower, and change into something warm. And to notify the FBI and the Oakdale police. Uh, get them on alert, yeah? Yeah, of course. Joe, thanks for your help finding that stuff. We'll see you in a couple of hours. Look, Barry, I'd think twice about this if I were you. If this Cummings is the psycho everybody says he is, this could be a one-way flight for all of you. How long have you known me? I found out just before your father went to San Francisco. Oh, Karen. Uh, oh, wonderful. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, sweetheart, I haven't even told your father yet. I didn't want him to worry while he was away. Oh, Daddy won't worry. He'll be thrilled. Well, honey, there... There are some complications. The, the pains that you've been having. Uh, there's a chance that I may not be able to carry the baby to term. Dr. Samuels told me to avoid any kind of stressful situation, I'm mental as well as physical. What can I do to help? <sighs> Nothing, really. I, actually, telling you is, is really a relief. Oh, Kim, uh, you amaze me. Oh. Uh, sweetie, I'm just, just was so determined that we were going to get out of this nightmare. I'm so sorry. I really just hoped that my talking to Doug would help, and now it seems to me it's just pushed him closer to the edge. No, no, don't worry. Don't you worry. I'm going to get us out of here. I'll, I'll get us out of here somehow. I will. Okay. Here's your tea, Kim. Ah. Oh. Oh. portion brought to you today by today's all temperature cheer three temperatures one great clean and by crest the makers of new tartar control crests in the silver box And I'm going to become a raging alcoholic. Don't give way to self-pity. It's ridiculous. For Why don't you just you. tell me about this plan you've got to put Humpty Dumpty back on the wall again? All huh? right, darling. This part you're going to like oh, very much. Really? Yes, you are, because I'm going to eat humble pie. <laughs> <laughs> you see? You see? I'm going to eat crow. You see right. the crow feathers? Oh, I do. I do. They're stuck to those little drops of blood right around your mouth, right there. Oh. All right, fine. You want to play, baby? You want to play? Huh? 
Scrabble. All right, maybe I didn't think. I, I, I did transfer Tony Reyes here because I wanted to make my relationship with Sierra. All right, all right, maybe. Maybe I didn't imagine enough how you would feel seeing her day in and day out so near and yet so far, et cetera and et cetera. On the other hand, I thought that I was doing what is best for you. Surprise! You wore it. So the sooner that I leave town, you see, no, no, the you're not my leaving life. town. This is what I have to say to you. We send him. We send Tonio to my one of my European branches. It doesn't matter. We send him. We keep him busy. He has to travel constantly, constantly. If we wind him up, we send him. He goes to work. He does speak Spanish. She stays here. The rest is up to you, darling. And all you have to do is stay with Walt Enterprises. Well, let me let me get this straight. We send Tonio to Europe, and of course, Sierra does not follow him there, right? Well, well, oh, with the kind of work that we're going to saddle on him? <laughs> Speaking of saddle, <laughs> I'd jump back in the harness, so to speak. Of course, I'm going to have to jump through a couple of hoops for you now. Oh, no, I forgot to tell you, you get a raise, you see? Everybody's happy. Aren't I a remarkable woman? <laughs> remarkable? Oh, man, you're unbelievable. <laughs> I just didn't think it was possible for any one human being to be such a monster. And, baby, if I needed a cue or motive to get as far away from you as I can, that was it. What was that? Uh, this whole place is mine and, and remote control. Douglas must have set it off. He had the controls on the bed next to him when I was up there. How are you? Uh, all right. Okay. I know what these deep depressions can do to Douglas. I saw him like this after Caroline died. He would have taken his own life if it hadn't been for Henry Strauss. And now Dr. Strauss is dead. We were counting on him. And now I I, I don't I don't know what we can do. I thought that things would be better. Why don't you drink some of that tea while it's still warm, Kim? It might it might settle your nerves. I'll have some tea, too. Franny, you put the ring back on Douglas gave you. Why? I, uh, I just don't want to give him any more to be upset about. That's all. Making love, I mean. I 
because I wanted it to be perfect. This is the setting I always imagined. Flowers everywhere. Candles. Another dream. <laughs> Another dream that will never come true. I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, sweetheart, you didn't wake me. I was just lying in bed. Worrying about that poor little Danny in the hospital. Oh, Steve called this a little while ago, and, and Danny's temperature's back down oh, to normal. Thank goodness. I'm so glad. Yeah, I know that Steve is relieved, because there we were having a morale-boosting mm -hmm. pizza with the crew, and then Betsy's taking Danny to the hospital. Well, don't blame yourself for that. You had no way of knowing. I know. You know, speaking of knowing, how did you know it was me? <laughs> I always know my children by their footsteps. <laughs> You know, that, uh, that Mr. Montgomery who drove you home, he, he seems like a very nice man. Yes, yes, he is a nice man, Mom. He's also going through a, a terrible time. I mean, you know, he was the one that was engaged to Sierra Esteban, and then she found out that she's Lucinda Walsh's daughter, and see, Craig knew about it all the time and didn't tell her. I can't imagine what could possess a woman to keep a secret like that, a mother. I mean, to tell a lie like that. I mean, all, lies always lead to complications, and a wonder. No wonder little Lily is so confused and unhappy. Well, you know, Mama, you know, you don't have a choice a lot of times, you know. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's as simple as black and white. I mean, either you tell the truth or you don't. Lies never stop until they're exposed. And people get hurt by them. I mean, you, you take that Mr. Montgomery, for instance. <laughs> oh. <sighs> <laughs> tired myself out with my lecture. Oh, why don't you go to bed, then? <laughs> you know, I think I will go on back up. Okay? Okay. Good well, good night, Mama, and to thank you. For what? We're not talking about you. You don't tell any lies. <laughs> good night, baby. Good night. Spying on me or something? Well, no, it wasn't spying. But why does it bother you if you were calling somebody you shouldn't? Oh, what an exhausting night. You know, first Danny, and then I can't stop worrying about killing Franny. Look, I'm sorry that you had to go through that alone until I got there. Well, I wasn't really alone. Craig was with me. I suppose there's been any news from Bob? No, Ellen called from the hospital and spoke to Mr. Hughes. He said nothing. Ah, oh, so awful. I wonder if Bob and Kevin have had any luck tracking them down, where he could have taken them. Look, I am sure that the minute Mrs. Hughes hears anything, she will call. Yeah. All right? But come on, lying awake all night is not going to help. Well, just being next to you helps. I hope Sierra knows what this is like one day. I hate to think that I'd have to lie here like this if I didn't really love you.
I was afraid you'd be asleep. Tomorrow we start our new life here. I report to Walsh Enterprises, and Craig Montgomery leaves Walsh Enterprises. Ironic, isn't it? Craig said he'd also be leaving Oakdale. Well, that's probably for the best, don't you think? Probably. Don't you, um, don't you think we should get to sleep? Tomorrow's a big day. We let tomorrow take care of itself. Right now, I'm in bed with my wife. And I must show her how much I love her. Don't you ever learn, Lucinda? You never learn anything. You can't manipulate people. You see, one, it's dishonest, and two, it always backfires on you. Look, aren't we talking about keeping him out of the picture so that <sighs> she can discover what a mistake don't she's Don't you think she would understand him? that you had a hand in this? Lucinda, why don't you ever give anybody else on the planet a little bit of credit for some intelligence? If Sierra comes to the realization that her marriage is a mistake. It's got to come from within her. It can't come from some mother of hers who thinks that she can just manipulate anybody around her, no matter how much carnage that she creates in the process. All right, forget about it. We'll forget about Tonio and Sierra. Let's talk about you and what no. I can do for you. For, yes, in Walsh Enterprises, I'm buying Caroline's. Oh, boy, is that going to take off? That's oh, going to be no, fire. That makes sense. That's good. That makes yes. sense. It's natural. But you'd be attracted to a place, place like that. Isn't it? Some kind of grounds of Murder, greed, somebody like that. You know, some kind of sick person oh, like who understand. has warped sense of values like Doug Cummings, right? That's just sermonizing, baby. That's just... Good night, Lucinda! Spare me. By the way, any more explanations about what you're going to do for me? Because I am not coming back to work for you. I'm also not leaving Oakdale. See, I think somebody should stick around here, you know? Try to make sure you don't destroy any more lives like the way you've destroyed mine. Yeah? Like you? Yeah, why not? I know all the tricks, don't I? I know the tawdry depths you're willing to go to to muck around in for well, the almighty job. you want to take job. me on, is that it? <laughs> yeah. uh, one thing you do for me, though, for old anxiety, uh, okay? What? Tonio and Sierra, mm -hmm. you leave them alone. Oh, oh, God, you can't be serious. I've never been more serious in my life. My protege, my good time Charlie, you want to fight to the finish? Okay, baby. You got it. Where'd you find anything else? Oh, it's a Miss Hardgrove calling with some more info on Cummings. Oh, good. No, thank you, thank you. No, that's a big help. Thanks a lot. Well, she found another notation in Marsha Talbot's notebook that verifies Granite Falls is where Doug built the private airstrip and hangar. Oh, damn, that's but great. But apparently, he also kept a helicopter there as well. So that means the house isn't right there. That'd be my guess. Well, can we get a helicopter to meet us? Dr. Hughes, did you call the authorities? Uh, yes, we did, and they uh, said they were going to send out search planes at sunrise and for us to keep the heck away. And doesn't that sound like good advice? No, it doesn't. My wife and daughter are up in those mountains somewhere, and my wife is pregnant. But you realize the FBI is equipped to deal with situations like this. Now, what are you going to do if you come face to face with Doug? 
I'm hoping that he still trusts me. Don't you see, if the FBI get there first and they close in on him, anything's liable to happen. He could panic and hurt them. We've got to get there first. You armed? No, we're not. Look, you can't back out now. Just get us there. That's it. Once we're at the mill house, we're on our own. Come on, Barry. You've got to help us. Reckon I better order us that helicopter. It's so quiet outside. It's frightening. They keep waiting for the next explosion. And the second Douglas could decide to just push them. I'm sorry. I'm no help. How are you feeling? I just keep praying that help is on its way. And when I concentrate hard enough, I feel somehow that it is. Uh, I'm going to go to try and get some sleep. There's no point staying up waiting. I. Marcia's right. The silence is terrifying. Just close your eyes. Just try not to think of him. Just think of the baby. <laughs> what it'll be like to be home again. Our lives aren't going to end here, Kim. I'm not going to let that happen. portion of As the World Turns has been brought to you today by Bounce, for clothes you can't wait to jump into, and by Puritan Oil. More than cholesterol-free, Puritan is low in saturated fats. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Get up already? Yeah. Uh, I'll make the coffee. Uh, you know, someday I'm going to tell our daughter just how little <laughs> sleep we got. She was growing up. Yeah, maybe we should reconsider having another one. No, I want another baby. As soon as we can arrange it. Let's okay? talk about it another time. Right. I've, uh, you know, I was talking to her last night about the differences between boys and girls. Iva? Yeah, she loves kids. Anyway, she was saying that teenage girls are supposed to be a lot more complicated emotionally. So I figured that we could use a boy to give us a break somewhere down the line. That phone would ring with some good news. Come here. Come here. Kim has been a mother to me, you know, and she's always been there when I needed her, and now she's going through this with Franny, and there's nothing I can do. I know, I know, I know. Now, can I do something for you? Will what? you let me talk about something happy? Huh? Like I really like the idea of a boy? Huh? 
You know, I don't know what you get your thinking, but whoever gave it the idea that boys were easier than girls or less complicated. As I recall, when I met you, you had so many chips on your shoulder. You know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I still remember that kind. Yeah, he was like nobody I'd ever met. Of course not. You with your sterling silver spoon in your mouth, where are you ever going to meet somebody like me? Opposites do attract, so they That's say. That's right. It's not working. Do you think I should call Nancy? Maybe she's heard something else from Bob. No, baby, it's five, five o'clock in the morning. Look, if she'd heard anything, she would have called. Look, they're, they're big girls, you know? They can, they're they going to be okay. There's something I haven't told you. Kim is pregnant. I can't believe you woke me up in the middle of the night. Well, I need help in the barn. And you're not going to come home straight after school like I asked you. Then you're just going to have to do your chores in the morning. That's all there is to it. I bet Lily Walsh is still asleep. In satin, she complaining is not going to make it any better. So how did I ever get to know Craig Montgomery so well? I don't think that she knows him so well. Well, he did drive her home last night, didn't he? That's only because they were at the hospital together to see how Steve's baby was. Now, there's nothing to make out of that. Now, young lady, I am really tired of these insinuations. I mean, they serve no purpose except to make you very, very unpleasant company. Morning. Good morning. What are you doing up so early? Oh, I was kind of restless. I also thought I'd help you out with the chores. What? Well, you can do mine. You better get on up to bed. You've got to go to work later on. Are you okay? Yeah, I just had a few things on my mind, that's all. What, like Craig Montgomery? Well, now, where did that come from? Was he the one that you were calling last night at 1.30 in the morning when you hung up so fast? I don't think it's any of your business. Meg, I wish you would spend more time studying instead of planning parties and prying into other people's business. Now, come on, get yourself out in the barn. Come on, come on, let's go. Get some fresh coffee, Arthur. Thank you, Mama. plan to separate Sierra from Tonio, so she will realize the mistake she's made in marrying him. And you'll be right there, darling, to help her. Manipulative? Okay. But it will work. And isn't that what matters? You and Sierra getting it together. She'll thank me. You both will. Just do it, Craig. No, I didn't have anything to do with that. I tried to stop her. Oh, I'm glad you didn't. Now, I know Mrs. Walsh was trying to manipulate me. But it doesn't matter, because it gave me a chance to think, and Craig, you were right. I did marry Tonio because I was running away from you, and not because I loved him. Sierra. Now, I called Tonio last night, and I told him the truth. And he said he'd give me my freedom. If it's not too late for us. Too late for us? That could be too late for us. No, it's not too late. Why not? <laughs> you see? And you owe it all to me and my plan. No! Damn you. Listen, I will not. I will not do that. I will not do that. You get it together, okay? You get it together. You just, just accept facts the way they are. I have to accept that it's over. It's over. And I'm going to go on with my life. No matter how much I love you.
stop thinking about how Kim and Franny are all alone. I know. I keep going it over, going over it in my mind, too. He's killed at least three people. He has this bizarre hang-up about my wife. Thinks he's in love with Franny. You know, if that fantasy continues, maybe, maybe it'll be all right. But if it doesn't, I can't believe how you've kept it together so long. Well, I, I couldn't just sit around Oakdale and wait for the police to notify us. I just hope this isn't a wild goose chase. Well, I hope the authorities don't get there before we do. And don't worry, we're on automatic pilot. You know, we're here. If you take a look, you can see the runway. Is that his jet? Yeah, it must be. And so, that's our helicopter down there. Yeah, right? I just radio down. He's ready and waiting to take us up to scout for Doug's mill house. Have you got the snapshot? Yeah, right here. Good. Well, look, Dr. Hughes, I want you to take this. Hopefully, you're not going to have to use it, but you can't walk in on somebody like Doug Cummings, not in his condition, with no way of defending yourself. I think he's right. Thanks, Barry. All right. Just hold tight. I'm going to take her down, okay? Kevin, I know things haven't been that smooth between us. But I mean it. There's nobody I'd rather have with me on this than you. Thanks. I feel, feel pretty confident with you, too. I've been dreaming. Where's Franny? Uh, in her room. I heard her shower running. Have you seen Douglas yet? No. The door to the master suite's still closed, just as it was last night when I went to bed. I wonder what he's up to. Yeah. I can guess. Such a deep depression completely immobilizes him. But the slightest wrong move, wrong word, could provoke a violent, uncontrolled reaction in him. That dress. It's Caroline's, I know. I, I found it. I hope you don't mind. I have nothing else to wear. We left Oakdale so quickly, remember? Do you remember why? Because your plane was waiting to take us off on a whole new life together. We were going to Acapulco. I know. 
And I was disappointed at first. Because you changed our plans. I guess I got a little upset. I I'm sorry. I see now. How beautiful it is here. I woke up this morning and I looked at the view. And I saw a family of deer out by the mill stream. How did you find such a wonderful place? Why did you come in here, Franny? I came to apologize. I shouldn't have been afraid of you. Nothing's changed. I realize that now. I was just confused because I didn't understand all you've done to prepare a future together. I came to tell you that we can still have that. Is that what you want? Yes. There's just one thing. I have to fly him home. Why? I'll stay with Marcia, and when you come back, I'll be waiting for you. And it'll all be perfect. Just like we always dreamed it would be. Why do you have that with you? To remind me of Caroline and a dream that went wrong. I could not go through that again. You won't have to. I'm here with you now. You won't need any reminders of Caroline. Guess what? Oh, she gives me the worst jobs. I hate mucking out the stalls more than anything. You know, it's just primitive. Well, you know, Meg, it's part of being on a farm. Why don't you just do it and don't put so much negative energy into it? Negative energy? When are we going to understand each other? Oh, I understand you better than you think. You just want a cushy life. Where did you get that idea? By keeping my eyes and ears open. I wonder who could be calling this early. Hello? Yeah, just a minute. Surprise, surprise. It's Craig Montgomery. Hello, Craig. Yeah, good morning. Hi, listen, I, I just, uh, well, I just wanted to thank you for the pep talk you gave me last night, and I, I think that you're right. Running away is no solution. Well, that's good. Are you going to get your job back with uh, Lucinda Walsh? Uh, no, 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 no. I may be stupid, but I'm not a masochist. No, nope. I'm, uh, I'm going into business for myself. Oh, great. Well, what are your objectives? My objective is very clear. I just want to uh, news every trick in the book that Lucinda taught me to beat her to death at her own game. Well, it's good to hear the fight back in your voice. I'm also glad to hear that you're not leaving town. I know that I can believe you. I only lied to you once, Douglas, about 
about being sick, and I only did no. that because I wanted to get him, Kim home. To no, no, you wanted, no, you wanted to go home. You wanted yes, to yes, go home. Yes, yes, I did then. But I was confused. I was still surprised by all this. Now that I understand, I realize that I can't leave. that you taught me what real love was all about. I remember. Nothing can ever change that. I'll always love you. Why, why would you say those things? Like you said, why, why, why would you look at me like there Doug, was something Doug, wrong? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Oh, God. I could. You fly came home? We'll have our lives together when you get back. If I fly Kim home, she will send the authorities no. back. No, no, we can go someplace else, another country, somewhere where no one would ever dream of looking for us. Will you do that? I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't know I can, if I can believe you. How do I know you're not just trying to trick me again? Right now.